And I was just wanted to say a few things about it too, because I can't help doing that. <laughs> and it wasn't just that one experience that Mary had. She had from that time on there's a series of experiences uh, which were very similar in nature about a number of different things that, that had nothing to do with her life now. So, and but they were all deeply emotional. And, uh, and obviously also deeply confusing. And so, um, so you can understand this, this feeling of fear building up and building up and building up, you know, because it's just like any more time she spends with me, she goes through another emotional experience about and or a memory about something about the first century, but it's not a memory in pictures, like we're often, you know, with, with the new age philosophies of reincarnation, they often say, oh, you have these pictures in your mind about previous life and so forth. It's actually not like that. What it is is these deep soul-based emotions that overwhelm you completely. And uh, in the process of overwhelming you, you, obviously your mind kicks in and starts saying, what, 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 what's going on? You know? And many of you, if you think about it, have the same thing happening with some of your own emotions, don't you? Like, you know, when you get into that state where you're really in a causal emotion, and you start, in your mind, rebelling against the emotion. Like you start thinking, am I going nuts now? What's happening to me now? And it's that kind of feeling, but it's that kind of feeling related to a life and identity that you weren't conscious of. So that's, so it's a very, very confusing process. So it's understandable that uh, Mary, was, Mary was in this state. Because in fact, that was the state I was in at the beginning of my memory process as well.